Welcome to World News America on PBS and around the globe. Europe is experiencing a fierce heat wave with extreme temperatures and wildfires burning in countries across the continent. Blazes in Spain, Portugal and Greece have forced thousands of people to evacuate while scorching huge swathes of land. Officials in France are calling it an apocalypse of heat as large wildfires sweep the southwest. Our Europe correspondent Jessica Parker reports. Into the forest and the front line of an exhausting battle. One that today we were able to witness. Up in the woods you can see guys tackling the fires. There's a huge amount of activity down here and it is hot, it is smoky. Just look at the haze in the trees. The smoke thickens the further in we go. The flames suddenly all too apparent. The fire rekindles in many places. We have to be very careful with these conditions. We're in a pine forest. The vegetation is so dry here. And with the temperatures, the fire reaches the top of the trees very quickly. Flames reach up to 80 meters high. Along here, we were due to reach an evacuated campsite by the coast, but we never got there. Things were getting worse. You could see it on the ground and in the sky. Water bombers, one after the other, flying over our heads. They never stop here. They can't. But soon we, along with others, are told it's time to leave. Back on the main road, the thousands of evacuations were plain to see. Smoke means for many, it's just not safe to stay. Here at this centre, you can at least take a moment to cool down. It was very smoky this morning. It's very bad for the lungs. I knew there were problems coming, so I prepared a grab bag. Even the medications for my dogs were ready to go. For some, it's a matter of frantic phone calls to find a place to sleep tonight. Who knows when they'll get to go home. It can be in a few days, it can be in a few weeks. It's very difficult now, now to say, but we'll try to make people come back to their house uh, as, uh, as soon as possible. France's wildfires seen from above are an alarming sight. Winds and over 40 degree heat made for a destructive mix today. Temperatures are set to drop tomorrow, and for these men, that can't come soon enough. Jessica Parker, BBC News in Gironde. Let's turn now from France to neighbouring Spain, where temperatures have reached 45 degrees Celsius. That's over 104 degrees Fahrenheit. There are now over 20 wildfires burning out of control in Spain. Some of them are threatening houses and people's livelihoods. So far, two, two people have been killed in the blazes. Well, earlier today, there were alarming scenes for passengers on board a train in Zamora. The train came to a halt as flames surrounded the tracks, but managed to move on a few minutes later. The Spanish Prime Minister, Pedro Sanchez, has linked climate change to the intense heat wave, gripping Western Europe. More than 70,000 hectares have been destroyed as a result of fires so far this year in our country. That's almost doubled the average of the last decade. All these fires are caused by heat waves due to the climatic emergency that the planet is experiencing right now. 